In previous lecture, we discussed about unity feedback closed loop transfer function and unity feedback open loop transfer function. We also discussed few formulas or we can say few equations of all the open loop and closed loop transfer function. In this lecture, we will study how to convert a unity feedback closed loop transfer function to a unity feedback open loop transfer function. So, let us understand the conversion method with the help of an example. So, here you can see the question is find the unity feedback open loop transfer function from given unity feedback closed loop transfer function. So, we are given with a equation of closed loop transfer function P of S. So, let us find the solution for this question. To start with, to solve any question on conversion, we have two methods. The first method, you can say it is in detail and the method 2 is a shortcut method where you can convert the open loop system to a closed loop system and vice versa in just few seconds. So let us understand first with method 1. So the transfer function, the closed loop transfer function P of S is given by 2S plus 5 upon S square plus 3S plus 9. Now this is a unity feedback closed loop transfer function. And you can see we have already discussed the unity feedback closed loop transfer function P of S as G of S upon 1 plus G of S. So you can say this transfer function is nothing but G of S upon 1 plus G of S. To find here we are finding the unity feedback open loop transfer function and you can see the unity feedback open loop transfer function is nothing but G of S. So we are so here we are interested in finding the value of G of S. So from this equation you can simple cross multiply so you can get the value as G of S in bracket S square plus 3S plus 9 is equal to 2S plus 5 in bracket 1 plus G of S. Now you can open the bracket, you will get S square G of S plus 3S G of S plus 9 into G of S is equal to here again, if you multiply the bracket, you will get it is 2s plus 2s into g of s plus 5 plus 5 into g of s. So now on right hand side, you have 2s g of s and 5g of s. You can take these two terms on left hand side, the signs will change. And you can write it is S square G of S plus here you have 3S G of S and it is 2S G of S. So it will be S into G of S plus here you have 9 G of S and on right hand side you have 5 G of S. So 9 minus 5 it will be 4 G of S is equal to on right side we will be left with 2s plus 5. So I can take the g of s term as common so I will get g of s it is s square plus s plus 4 is equal to 2s plus 5. So we want the value of g of s so I can write G of S is equal to 
2s plus 5 upon s square plus s plus 4. So this is the unity feedback open loop transfer function. So we were given a unity feedback closed loop transfer function and we converted it to a unity feedback open loop transfer function. You can use this method one if you are a student of any engineering college or if you are giving the engineering services means paper. Now we have one more method which is a shortcut method by which you can do any conversion in less than 5 seconds. So let us see method 2 which is the shortcut method. Now let us see a shortcut method to convert closed loop transfer function to an open loop transfer function. We will consider the same example. Now you can use this shortcut method when you have a transfer function t of s in terms of polynomial means you have some numerator upon denominator. So as you can see our transfer function is in polynomial that is we have a numerator and denominator so we can use this shortcut method. So the simple trick to find the open loop transfer function from a closed loop system is numerator upon denominator minus the numerator. This is the formula to find to find unity feedback open loop transfer function from a unity feedback closed loop transfer function. Now we can simply find the open loop transfer function by using this formula. In numerator I have 2s plus 5 so I will write 2s plus 5 upon in denominator I have s square plus 3s plus 9 so I will write s square plus 3s plus 9. Then we have a minus sign minus again the numerator we have 2s plus 5. You can find out it is 2s plus 5 upon you will get s square 3s minus 2s so I will get plus s plus 9 minus 5 I will get 4. So the unity feedback open loop transfer function is nothing but 2s plus 5 upon s square plus s plus 4. You can see this is the same answer you have got using the method 1. So by simple formula you can convert a closed loop transfer function to an open loop transfer function within few seconds. Now let us convert an open loop transfer function to a closed loop transfer function with this shortcut method. There is only a slight change in the formula now let us discuss that formula. Now let us convert a unity feedback open loop transfer function to a unity feedback closed loop transfer function. We will use the same example as in the previous example. Only the change is here we are finding the unity feedback closed loop transfer function from the given open loop transfer function. And also we will directly discuss the shortcut method. The shortcut method to find the closed loop transfer function is numerator upon denominator plus numerator. If you compare this formula with the previous formula, there is a change of only this sign plus. So this formula is used in finding closed loop transfer function from open loop transfer function. It is valid only for unity feedback system. So 
let us substitute the values. I will get numerator. The numerator is 2s plus 5. So it is 2s plus 5 upon the denominator. It is s square plus 3s plus 9 plus the numerator. The numerator is again 2s plus 5. So you can solve this. It is 2s plus 5 upon s square plus 3s plus 2s. I will get 5s plus 9 plus 5. I will get 14. So the unity feedback closed loop transfer function is nothing but 2s plus 5 upon s square plus 5s plus 14. So by using this formula within few seconds, you can convert an open loop transfer function to a closed loop transfer function for a negative unity feedback. Now I will give you one question which is to be done by you and you have to write the answer in the comment section. The question is find the unity feedback open loop transfer function from the given unity feedback closed loop transfer function. So you have given a closed loop transfer function, you have to convert it to an open loop transfer function and you have to write the answer in the comment section. Also, you have to take the same example and convert from open loop transfer function to a closed loop transfer function. And for that also, you have to comment your answer in the comment section. You can use the simple shortcut trick to answer the question. Our next lecture is a very important lecture. The topic is sensitivity. Many questions are asked from this topic in gate and engineering services. So in next lecture, we will discuss the topic sensitivity in great detail.